Christmas. My name is Lucy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then please do consider smashing that subscribe button. I've got so many exciting things coming up in 2022. I can't believe I'm saying that. And I would love to have you along with me. I'm gonna kind of be changing up the content on my channel a little bit. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please do smash a big thumbs up. You guys ask for it every year and it's quite nice for me to film so I can look back on. And yes, today I'm gonna be showing you what I got for Christmas this year. As usual, I've been absolutely spoiled. I am so, so, so grateful for everything that I got. I'm not going to be including everything in this video. Notably, I'm not going to be including what my housemates got me. I've made a TikTok on that. So if you don't already go follow me on TikTok, then head over there and follow me. I showed you over there what they got me for Christmas. And yes, I hope that you all had a lovely Christmas. If you celebrate, I hope that you could spend it with friends and family. I know this Christmas has been a little bit crazy. Hopefully next year, this will all be a distant memory. I mean, that's what we said last year. But anyway, without further further ado let's get into this as always this is not me bragging or me boasting I'm so lucky and so grateful for everything that I got and I just want to share it with you guys because I love watching these videos because I'm so nosy so let's get into it I'm gonna start off with presents from like friends and family and stuff and then I'm gonna go on to the presents that my parents got me so what should I start with first first up I'm gonna start with a present that I don't actually physically have with me here and that is from my lovely friend Marissa she got me a voucher for the Ivy Asia I'm so excited I've wanted to go to the Ivy Asia for ages. We tried to book it for my graduation dinner and we couldn't. So very excited to use that. Thank you, Marissa. And from my friend Thisby, I got a Joe Malone set. I love Joe Malone so much. It is in London, so that's why I don't have it physically with me here. But thank you very much, Thisby, for that. And why don't I start with what my friend Ellie got me? So Ellie is my oldest friend. We've literally been friends for a billion years. We live in the same village in Scotland, and she got me this really cool like set. It's got stuff from Pixie, from Benefit, loads different brands. It's got a lip gloss, like a toner, loads of cool things. It's called the glow kit and it's from Birchbox and also I love the little bag like I think it'll be so good for using at the airport because it's clear so thank you Ellie for this she also got me hundreds of candy kittens which are all downstairs I'm not gonna like physically show you any sweets and chocolate because I got a lot of sweets and chocolate so I'm literally set for I was gonna say the next year but let's be honest it's me so I'm gonna probably eat them in the next month but yes this is what I got from Ellie thank you so much it's so lovely being able to see her around Christmas because this is our first Christmas back in Scotland so it's been very very nice and I feel like every Everyone's been extra generous. All my aunties and uncles are like, we never get to see you open presents. So we just got you loads this year, which is so, so kind of them. Then next up, another present I don't physically have with me. It's from my lovely boyfriend, Jamie. And he got me, right, it's gonna seem random to a lot of people, but it's something that I really needed and wanted. And he really listened. So he got me this like super duper state of the art electric jet flosser thing. Because basically I kind of had one and I might have broken it. And they're not the cheapest things. And I really didn't want to rebuy it. It because it's really expensive. But I guess I've been maybe moaning about the fact I didn't have it anymore. Because if you guys don't know, I have composite bonds. I mean, it's kind of obvious. And I need to floss them with something like that. And he very kindly got me a new and super duper upgraded one to the one I had before. It is at his flat. I couldn't carry the massive box with me to Scotland. And he also sent me so much Nomo chocolate, which is my favorite chocolate in the whole world. So thank you, Jamie. I really am very excited to get to use my flosser. People are gonna think that's so random but it's actually like the best present ever for me. Then his parents got me the most gorgeous present. They got me this Pandora bracelet. It was so, so kind of them. They did not need to get me anything. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Okay, it really doesn't want to focus, but they got me this Pandora bracelet and they got me a charm on it that says the world is your stage and it has the like theater emblem on the back of it. And this was just the most generous and thoughtful present ever. It's so, so beautiful. And I mean, it goes with all my silver jewelry. I only wear silver, so that's perfect. And when I show my Auntie Aileen it. She started crying, which, you know, it's just so cute. So yes, thank you very much to Jamie's parents for this. I absolutely love it. Next up, I'll go with what my Auntie Heather on Cloud and little cousin Abby got me. So first up, when I opened this, I was so, so shocked because I just didn't think they'd know what it was and they got me an SOVT straw. If you're a performer then you'll know what this is and I have needed one of these for so long and I've just not bought it because it's just a lot of money for a straw but I'm so happy like when I opened it I was so confused I was like how do you guys know what this is? So my singing teacher is going to be very chuffed that I've now got this because she's been telling me to buy one for ages and I haven't done it yet and look how cool it is it's all like rainbow and it comes in a little case so this is just something I'm going to keep for my whole career so thank you guys so 
much for this. And it also got me this little keychain. It's just a rose gold L. Is it going to focus? With a little like flower on it from Paper Chase. My auntie was like, I just saw it and it was kind of pink. So I thought I'd get it for you. And they got me loads of sweets and chocolate as well. And they gave me money. So they were extremely generous this year. So thank you so much. I'm just so buzzed by this. My dad was like, what the hell is that? Why have they bought you a straw for Christmas? But he doesn't get it. It's literally so, so, so exciting. Then from my Auntie Jane, Uncle Scott and Lauren, so from my dad's side of the family, they gave me money, which was very, very generous of them. And they also got me some tops and they absolutely nailed it. So first up, they got me just this like plain black ribbed high neck top. You guys know I wear tops like this all the time. They're perfect for work. They're perfect for under things. I love to wear them with skirts, like honestly ideal. And this is from Stradivarius and they got me in a size small. And then they got me this super cool top from Bershka. They honestly like nailed the shops. These are my favorite shops. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but basically it's this mesh top. You can kind of see it's got like a swirly detail at the front. So it's mesh on one sleeve and like velvet on the other sleeve. I absolutely love it. And I mean, I go into Bershka and that all the time and I've never ever seen this. And this is so something I would have picked up. And they got me this in a small as well. So thank you guys so much. You were so generous and thank you for the money as well. I love this top. I can't wait to wear it. Next up from my auntie Aileen, I got some fluffy socks. I'm also wearing the other pair of said fluffy socks as we speak. So I got a navy pair and a grey pair because I'd been at her house like the week before Christmas and I'd asked her if she had any fluffy socks I could borrow. So I think then she went out and got these to add to my present. And they are the fluffiest, softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Also, I'm very aware you can like see my ring light and camera set up. She then got me this Seychelles Bergamot Amber and Vanilla Body Lotion. When I say this smells like a spa, I'm so bad at describing scents, but it's just so, so fresh. And then she got me pyjamas. I was literally saying to my mum on Christmas Eve, oh, I'm really sad. I haven't got any new kind of festive pyjamas this year. Don't worry, Auntie Aileen came through. These are from m and I love them. I wore them last night, hence why they're kind of in a ball. But they are shorts. If you know me, I literally can't wear long pyjamas. I just have an absolute vendetta against them. So she got me shorts and they're super cosy, even though they're shorts because they're like nice thick material. Tartan, you know, very festive, very Scottish. Oh, the top's inside out. That's embarrassing. I should have put it around the right way for the video. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here is the top. It's just a classic pajama top with buttons down the middle and a little pocket and short sleeves. And I absolutely love them so, so much. She got me them in a size 10, which I'm so happy about because I don't like my pajamas to be really tight and you know. Then from my gran, she was very generous and gave me money. So I'm going to be sure to put that towards something special. And from my auntie Irene, she also gave me money as well. So thank you very much for that. My lovely boss at work got me Hotel Chocolat, sh Chocolat, Chocolat chocolates. Would I show you them? Yes. Have I eaten them all? Absolutely. So I won't be showing you them, but thank you very much, Beth, for those. And yes, I do think that's everything. So now let's get on to what my parents got me. I was spoiled as always. So first up is this body brush for wet and dry brushing. I can't say I've ever brushed myself, but my mum said it's good for like circulation and avoiding cellulite. And you know, I'm all for that. And it's these two brushes. I've not opened them yet. And they are bamboo wood. I'm pretty sure. And then there is a soft one and a hard one and you like basically brush your body. I feel like I want to read up about it and find out like what the best way is to use them. And they also come with like two little wet hooks so you can put them up in your shower. So that is very handy. And I'm actually really intrigued to like read about them and know what they do because I had personally never heard of them. But my mother assures me it's an essential in my life. So thank you very much for them. Then in my stocking, I got this Tan Lux Super Glow. My mum said she had seen Caroline Hirons use it, I'm pretty sure. And I mean, she is the queen of skincare and it's basically this hyaluronic acid which has tanner in it and i mean i need all the help i can get in the tan department and also it's clear so i don't understand how it tans me but i'm very very excited to try that out because as you can see i'm a little bit transparent then my dad specifically got me this notebook he got my mom and i notebooks because we are the notebook queens it's basically got like two faces on it. it's very like abstract and cool and artsy my mom and i love writing notes like i always have about 700 notebooks on the go so this is ideal and it's also a blank notebook i'm really enjoying blank notebooks at the moment 
in and all my ones I have left aligned. Then I got another Clinique Moisture Surge. This is my Ride or Die Moisturizer. I will not use any other moisturizer. It's so, so good. And mine had ran out and my skin was so dry. So I'm very, very glad to have this back in my life. And I got a new gel color for my Miley. This is like a dark wine color. It's called Diva. Iconic. So I've got that. Excited to get back to London and have my kit back so I can use it. Next up, I got a new Charlotte Tilbury foundation and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in shade four. They've actually discontinued this foundation now, which is exceptionally depressing to me. But my dad managed to go out on Christmas Eve Eve and found me the last one in my shade. So I'm very, very happy to have this and I'm literally gonna savor it. I'm only gonna wear it on special occasions because now they've discontinued it, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Another gift from the mothership that is Jo Malone from my parents. I got this. This is the most hefty thing I've ever felt in my life. And it is the Lime Basil and Mandarin Body Cream. I just need to smell it even though I know what it smells like. Oh, it's just the freshest, nicest scent in the whole world. And I've never had the body cream. So I feel very, very spoiled to have this. Also, apparently the perfume is on its way. It hasn't yet arrived. Next up, before I get on to like the massive presents, I got two new music books. For those of you that don't know, I collect music books. I got Waitress and Cinderella. I was literally thinking the other day that I wish I had the Waitress music book because there was a song I wanted to use from it. Next up, I got a new pair of Uggs. I know, I'm gonna get so many people hating on me for this, but you know what? I love Uggs. I've always loved Uggs. Everyone hates on me for them, but I really don't care. I can't be having people walking about in Crocs, but hating on me for Uggs. I just don't, I don't understand how that can be a society we can live in. So these are my new outdoor Uggs. So yes, I will be wearing them out in public and people are gonna hate me, but I don't care. So, ah, I love them so much. Guys, I'm obsessed. They're just the best thing to ever happen. They are the mini leather Uggs. So they're not the usual Ugg material, which means I can wear them outside, I can wear them in the rain, and they're not gonna get wrecked. They are the mini, not the ultra mini. I don't really like the ultra mini personally. I prefer this height. I also love how the Ugg bit at the back, it's also black, so they're very like monochrome. I love them so much. They are an absolute pain to get on though. Like I have to use a shoehorn. I feel like a 90 year old. It's worth it because I love them. All the Ugg haters can back off. Ow, got dead leg. Next up, I got a pair of wellies. My dad and I both got wellies for Christmas this year, which is just like so random. But I think it's cause now we have the house back in Scotland and we're here more often. You know, we live in the countryside. We need wellies. So I got hunters. Apparently hunters are not the best wellies, but they look cute. And um, where am I really gonna be going it's not like I'm a real life country gal so I got the black tall hunters with the matching socks I have already worn them hence why the socks are a bit of a mess very grateful for them and finally a massive present I did get a new bag I love it with every bone in my body she's got silver hardware caviar leather and yeah I love it so thank you mum and dad for all of these presents, I've been so spoiled as always, and I'm very, very grateful for everything I got. I do not take anything for granted. I know I'm extremely lucky. And thank you to everyone else who gave me presents. Thank you to all of you who wished me a Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a lovely time if you were celebrating. And yes, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please use my free thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to go follow me over on TikTok to see what my housemates got me for Christmas and to see all my Christmas content. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I've got so many exciting videos coming up in 2022 and I would love to have you guys along for the ride with me. Thank you so much for all your love and support as always. I love you all very, very much and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye!